Yes, 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 it's time, it's time for evolution. Share the video so that everyone can get a notification uh, about this evolution. All right, uh, here you see that uh, I have skulls here. So I'm going to explain each and everything what you need to understand in the paper. So that by the time you go to evolution, uh, you are able to understand it better. Tell your friend that it is time for this human evolution. I have the first skull, if you look at it, 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 it looks like this. I think yeah, if you know, uh, you can tell me which kind of skull is this. I'm going to talk about it in detail. I'm going to explain everything which is on that skull. Uh, this is the lower jaw uh, of this skull. Yes. So basically, it looks like this. Okay. Yes, so you have another skull here, you have another skull here, when it is connected, it looks like that. Uh -huh. Then you have another skull here, yes, you have another skull here, and then another skull here. So, we are going to explain everything, uh, this is a, uh, the tool, and this is a tool, I know that some of you have ever seen these skulls, uh, in your, your school, but this is the time uh, for me to explain each and everything. Uh, before we start, let me just give you um, a review about this. So basically, uh, the review about this evolution. Remember, those people who are using my book for distinction material, you know that you can get a distinction using this book. Uh, but what are you supposed to talk about when you reach this evolution? I've talked about these topics, classification, don't go to the paper without knowing those things which you see in a different color. I've emphasized that. Um, I've talked about the line of descent, that is the, the phylogenetic tree. Yes, we'll talk about it when you're trying to see different questions. Uh, I'm not uh, going to talk too much time, take too much time uh, when explaining this, uh, this um, characteristics of humans which share with other primates. Uh, when you're answering this question, before I go to the next part which I'm interested in, uh, basically those are the skulls, please don't go to the paper without knowing this, not as a whole, but as different sections. Because we're no longer bringing this uh, that describe the characteristics of humans shared with the other primates. No, we will emphasize maybe on the head, on the forward limb on the hind limb. So it means that you have to know that when you talk about the head, what are you supposed to talk about? When you talk about the hind limb, what are you supposed to talk about? I think uh, I'm clear there. Let's go to the major part we are talking about or we wanted to discuss about those are the skulls, uh, differences between humans and the other primates. Uh, now we are, we are going to look at in terms of at the sides. Uh, if you look at this skull, if you look at uh, this skull, if you look at this skull, this skull is a skull for what? Is a skull for monkey. Am I right? Tell me, is it a monkey? No. It is it a chimpanzee. Is it a chimpanzee? No. What is it? Compare this and this. What do you think is this? 
Yeah, comment in the in the, in the, in, the, in the description so that I can see exactly what are you talking about. Yeah, okay. Anyway, this is a gorilla. Yes. This is a monkey. Uh, uh, a chimpanzee. This is um Homo. This is Australopithecus seriba. And then this is Homo naledi. And then this is the human being what is it, what we call uh Homo sapiens. So, these two, this skull, this skull, and this skull, we call them a transitional fossil. It means that they have, they have ability or they have characteristics of the previous ancestor or the ancestor and the, the next generation or what it gave rise to. So, if you look at this skull, how do we call it? These are what we call the blue ridge. When you look at this, this is a, a gorilla. Ne? I think you can see it clear now. This is a, a, a gorilla. It has its brolage is pronounced. Look at the chimpanzee. The brolage is no, not that pronounced as that of a gorilla. What about Australopithecus sediba? Look at its brolage compared to human. You see that humans. They don't have the brolage. They doesn't have the brolage. Yes. But this one, it's still there. Look at this chimpanzee. No, 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 no. The gorilla. What is this? These are cranial ridges. The ridges which are found on the cranium. Yes. So what is the importance of these ridges? It's basically for muscle attachment. So you look at it. What about humans? We don't have. Why? Why don't we have these uh, ridges? It's because the type of food we are feeding on is not that as tough as the type of food these uh, uh, gorillas they are feeding on. I'm going to explain everything. I'm going to explain even inside and so that you can understand. And then I'm going to give you some questions which you can see so that uh, you, 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 you can understand it better. When we come to the exam, you can remember these uh, skulls. I know that most of the government schools, you have these skulls. Yes, please go and uh, use these skulls. Ask your teachers for life science so that they can help you in regard to this, so that you see them clearly, touch them, feel them, so that you don't forget this when it comes to the exam. Yes. So, look at, um, we, are, we are talking about uh, this... Uh, muscle attachments this is where the muscles are attached why do they have these muscle attachments uh the the, the 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 parts where muscles are supposed to touch is because of the kind of food they are feeding on yes so um i'm going to come back to this then look at this because of the kind of food this gorilla is feeding on versus um uh, a chimpanzee is the chimpanzee's food is not as that tough as that of gorilla, yes. The cranial ridges are not that pronounced. They are very small. Check. They are not that big. They are very small. Almost they are diminishing. They are becoming vestigial. They are no longer important in these chimpanzees. Yes. So that's why you see that for them, they are very, 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 very small. These uh, cranial ridges. But this one is too big. When it comes to human skull, to human skull, uh, uh, automatically the blue ridge, uh, sorry, the cranial ridges are gone. Why are they gone? Because we feed on the soft food, cooked food, the food which does not require too much force to grind, to break down. Yes, that's why it is like uh, that. What about this um, homo? This is homo naledi. When you talk about homo, it means that uh, it, is, it is an example of a, a human. Yes, it is an example of a what? A human. So, this homo naledi, because it is a, a link to humans, yes, is, is, a, is a link to humans, meaning that it is a transitional fossil, it is still having some bro ridge here, because we are trans... Uh, we are changing from uh, from these ones to this. You understand? 
yes so that now this one is it keeps on decreasing 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 while this one when it reaches to human it is completely it's completely gone now how do we bring this in exam uh, look at this look at this um uh, slide you understand what i'm talking about when you come back here you see that we say now we're going to follow the if you have the distinction material book uh let's let's compare it with the 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 the, the, the real scales the first one the difference between uh humans and the other primates or apes in terms of the brain size if you look at here the brain size look at the brain size of the ape so when you're talking about the ape now let's go back here and then we see exactly what you're talking about oh look at this ne? this the cranium of human is big compared to the cranium of uh, a gorilla yes is big uh, don't forget that there is a difference between a cranium and the and the and the a skull if you look at this if you look at this uh if you look at this if you look at this ne? here we are talking about If you look at this, né? here we are talking about, we'll talk about cranium. We are not talking about all of it, all of it. No, look. All of it is a skull. This is a skull. When you talk about a skull, this is a skull. But when you talk about cranium, we go inside here. The, the, the brain box, this box, this box, what is inside here is what you call the what? The cranium. Let me show you uh, using this other skeleton. And um, if you look at this, this is a skeleton for human. When you talk about cranium, you're talking about this. Open your brain. Don't forget that your brain open. Ne? If you look at it here, the size inside here, how big is this? The socket here inside. What is inside here? The, how much brain do you need for you to fill in this space so that when this one comes in, uh, when it comes in here like this, it covers it. So how much brain do you have inside? If you look at this other primate, what is inside is too small compared to the body size. While they kind of check the way how it is designed, so that it accommodates more, it accommodates more brain cells. And don't forget that the more brain cells you have, the higher the intelligence. Don't forget that. Yeah, when you bring it in exam, then, how is brain size? How is this, this cranium? I'm not talking about, listen, I'm talking about what is inside here. I'm not talking about the whole thing, like the whole skull. I'm talking about what is inside here and what is inside here. What is inside here? When you compare all of them, you will see that that one of human is where the brain goes is bigger than that of the uh, gorilla and is bigger than that of the chimpanzee, is bigger than the um, um, Australopithecus sediba, is bigger than Homo naledi. Meaning that we have a higher brain size. And if you have many cells, yes, it means that our intelligence is higher than any other kind of what? Is higher than any other kind of of uh these apps yes so i think i'm clear there if you come back here again and then we see exactly what happens there you will see that you will see that you will see that here in human we have a larger space inside a larger space inside that larger space inside what does it mean it means that you have more brain cells if you have more brain cells it means that uh, it means that uh, those brain cells they can bring about intelligence and then if you look at this the brain cells are very minimal meaning that we have less brain cells there therefore the intelligence is what is the law there are some things which the brain why is this one big and this one is small The reason is
Yes. Uh, why, why is is the this brain of the apes is smaller than that of human? There are some things which were lost. Uh, for example, the ability to speak, ability to 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 communicate uh, uh, in in terms of language. They have their own language, but that ability is not was not developed in in terms of these apps. That's why. The others which are also lost, that's why their brain is still small. But if those things were there, maybe their brain size will have been bigger. Anyway, let's go to the next thing. Uh -huh. Now, when you look at the human skull, this is a human skull. We're saying that it's sloping, sloping face. Uh, uh, this one is a uh, flat face. This is a sloping face. Look at these jaws. Look at these jaws. Uh, this is how we set it in exam. So now let me show you what happens. What happens uh, when we are uh, talking about this? Um, let me show you. Yes. So now. Yes. Uh -huh. If you are talking about this, look at this. This car. Look at it. Eh? If you bring this pen, you see that it is not that slanting. It's not slanting. It's flat. What about this? Bring this pen and then check. Check. It's sloping. That's what they mean. That it has a sloping face. But as we evolve from these pri uh, uh, primitive apes into modern humans, check. The slanting keep on, keep on changing, changing. It keep on changing and changing. Check hormonal lady. It's not that uh, the slanting here is not that as hormonal lady. And then why? Because hormonal lady is next, is just next to humans. So that this one is. So the most slanting this this skull is, or the most slanting this um, individual is the. Primitive that organism is. If the, it has a more sloping face, it means that it has a slope. I'm, I'm not saying that if you have a sloping face, you are primitive. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You must have many characters or many features. Okay. Uh, if you have a more sloping face, it means that you are more primitive. If you have, you don't have a sloping face uh, that much, it means that you are more advanced. The same way as we say that if you have a small cranium, you are more primitive. If you have a bigger cranium, you are more advanced. So we saw. Ah, let's go upside down. Upside down, upside down. Let me open that. Let me do that one. Yes, upside down. Don't forget that uh, sometimes when you bring an uh, exam, yeah, sometimes when you bring exam, we can bring them like this. Check. Um, let me make it like this. I hope you can see clearly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay. And then I ask you. Oh. Anyway, uh -huh. we ask you. You have this. You have this. You have this. You have this. And then we ask you. Give two observable futures um, between this. Between this and this. What are you going to say? This one has larger canines. This one has smaller canines. You see? Um, this one, yes. Look at the shape. Rectangular shape. Look. Look. You see? The shape is rectangular. Look at this. It's a C shape. Né? Like all of... It's like a U or C shape. Né? But this is rectangular shape. But as you are moving aside, the rectangular shape keep on... It 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 is trying to disappear. It's rectangular, but not that rectangular. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, because this one uh, is a missing link, or is a is a is a a transitional fossil between Australopithecus, yes, Australopithecus species and Homo habilis towards the side of Homo's, yes, 
It means that it has some characteristics of Australopithecus like species and some characteristics of humans. Look at the kind of canines they have. The kind of canines, if you look at these canines, they are not as big as this. Check this. Check this. Maybe you don't see it clearly. Look how long. How long it is. So, this it shows. But check here, the canine is not that as that big as this one. So it shows that it has some characteristics of the previous species and the, uh, the previous uh, organism and the, the, the next organism or species and the next species. Why? Because it has not become extinct and still changing, therefore we call it transitional species or transitional fossils. Um, I think uh, I'm clear there. I think I'm clear there. So, when we go back here, we will see exactly what happened. You see exactly what happened. Yes. Let's go back here and see. Um, just a moment. When you go back here, we we'll see that what happened there is just a little bit different so let me just go through this so that now you can see uh, we can talk about yes let me first go through this then now i start to compare it with what is being uh, uh what i brought here all right here if you look at humans they have a large cranium i've talked about it that these ones have a large cranium while uh, these ones have a small cranium, this one has a flat face, this one has sloping face. I've explained this. Broridge are uh, as pronounced. Now, when you talk about uh, Broridge, as pronounced, I showed you here that it is not that as big for the case of humans. Yes. And then the other ones, Broridge are not that, that they are pronounced. You can see them. And then I uh, was saying that uh, less. Canine, it is the canines are smaller, the other ones the canines are bigger. Look, we have to change this. You have to change, you have to change this. Don't say that less protruding, uh, sorry, less prognanthus. Is less protruding jaws. Yeah, the jaws are not protruding out. But don't say that uh, less prognanthus. You have to change this, ne? Yes, this was updated that less prognanthus, you say it's not prognanthus. It's not prognanthus. Or you can say that, uh, less protruding jaws that one is, is acceptable but don't say that less prognanthus say that not prognanthus and then when you come here say that more protruding jaws or you can say that uh, you can say that uh it is prognanthus so you have to when you're using protruding jaws even this side you must use protruding jaws if you're using less prognanthus even the other side you must use less prognanthus yes then when you come to less curved spine uh these ones uh, i'm going to show you but uh it's not about too much of the spine because i've not got the spine of um the the the, the gorillas but i have the spine of human so i will show you how this brings about uh pedalism and then now uh, when you talk about the other ones is c-shaped so if it is known uh, prognanthus meaning that it is sorry if it is not um c-shaped when you are c-shaped look at your grandfather or your grandmother your granny they can't stand straight what which kind of shape do they have at the back you see that they have a c-shape you see they have they, they bend to bring about that c-shape you understand that you that is what we are talking about that if you are walking on four limbs then you're gonna bring about that c shape you understand and then if you're walking on 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 not on two limbs you are walking on so did i say two limbs if you're walking on four limbs you're gonna bring about that c shape you're gonna bend your back and unfortunately if you are tall uh you're gonna bend it faster why because the spine may not be able to support you as much yes but now if you are short like someone i know or someone who is there talking anyway yes your spine is in most cases 
it, it is more flexible, meaning that uh, because the upper weight is not that much, then it can support that upper weight. Okay, we shall talk about it. Short, wider pelvis. I don't have a pelvis here, but I have that one of human, so I'm going to show you also. I'm just trying to go through the theory, and then now I go back to the uh, the practical so that we don't uh, waste too much uh, too much what? Too much time. So we are saying that um, here we are saying that uh, the, the the spine here the spine the, the the pelvis is short and wider. In this case, this is short and wider. If you if you are small. If, 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 if you're able to walk on two limbs. While here, it's long and narrow. So what, what does it mean? Long and narrow, weak. Short and wider, thick. Anyway, I won't talk about it. But if I teach you, you know about it. That if you're short and wider, you know what it means. If you're long and narrow, what does it mean? Let me know in the comments. If you're long and narrow, what does it mean? experiment yeah so because they are long and narrow they can't support the upper weight they can't support the upper weight so if you are short and wider like you uh -huh. then you are saying that you have small and the semicircular pelvis yeah yeah I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you how are they semicircular the, the pelvis where the teeth are, are going i showed you yeah they're semicircular it's like a C shape. While this other one, the other primates, they are long and now rectangular. Yes, meaning that they bring that rectangle. But I showed you that as you move from the previous, the previous and the previous apes or the apes, you are going to humans. The, 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 it keeps on changing, changing, and then it becomes more circular. It, it, it shifts from being long and this rectangular thing. It, it, it keeps on changing and changing. Yes. So, uh, I think um, we are there. Uh, just a moment. Just one minute. Something, something. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Sorry guys, it's just a technical thing here which I need to sort out. Yeah, I'm back. Yes, uh -huh. Let, let's go to... So that's how it is, is supposed to be. And then now I, I'll also show you how this... Sorry. How this, this uh, bipedalism, the factor of bipedalism is being brought about. How does it bring about the thing of uh, uh, how does it bring about this thing of of what of uh, this bipedalism? How does it bring the, 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 the which features do we look at to say that this organism is bipedalism? Which feature do we look at? So first of all, we look at the, the, the position of foramen magnum. We look at the shape of the pelvis. We look at the shape of the spine. So, if the, 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 the foramen magnum is forward position, then automatically it means that it can allow this uh, spine to connect vertically so that there is no disturbance. The, it can connect vertically. If it connects vertically, what does it mean? It means that now you can walk upright. Pelvis is short and wider. To support, it, to support the upper way. Take an example, if you have a small bed and you have a big bed, which one is going to support the upper weight more? You think it's a small, weight or a small bed? Then if you want a small bed, then your parents must, must, buy you, must, must buy you a small bed. Anyway, so when you are short and wider, it means that you can support the upper weight. What about the spine? Is S shape so that it, it, it brings about flexibility. You understand? Flexibility. So if you are, you, you are flex, flexible, it means that the upper weight can be supported. You are flexible. You can move. You can walk. You can. When you are jumping, eh? yeah. it brings about that shock absorbance. Yeah? Yes, it, 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 it absorbs the shock. Yes, that's why they call it uh, this shock absorber. So it brings about this bipedalism, walking on two hind limbs. Walking on two hind limbs. This limbs 
put hind hind the word hind when you use the word limbs walking on two legs yes or walking on two if you are using limbs then you must add the word hind limbs because we have the forward limbs and we have the hind limbs yes <laughs> anyway let's go to the next one what are some of the differences between uh, bipedalism and the quadrupedalism uh, is there any difference Yes, I hope so. There is a difference between uh, bipedalism and the quadrupedalism. Those, those ones which are, they are able to walk on four limbs, what special feature do they have? Okay, number one, um, foramen magnum forward position. Foramen magnum in the backward position. Uh, guys, this is how you're supposed to state it. Uh, there are some books which say different uh, statements, but you might not be able to get a, uh, uh, a mark. Don't forget that when I teach you, it will be, it is always, it's always, always, you, 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 we are always focusing on, on, on a distinction. Yes. Yeah, we talked about the spine is its shape. You see that this, it brings about. Eh? Okay. <laughs> I won't talk about it. Yeah. Some people, they might think that this is a persona. This is not a persona. Okay, you and your granny. Who walks like this? Like this or like this? Uh, don't look at the head. I'm talking about who walks like straight and bending. Who? Yeah. You'll find out that it's your granny who walks like this. His back is not supported that enough. Therefore, you try to bend it. You bend inwards. Then it forms what you call a C-shape. You know, you know, you know uh, this American scientist he said that ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. Uh, ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. What does it mean? That history repeats itself. I don't know whether history repeats itself or we repeat the history. Anyway, yeah, he's saying that history repeats itself. The time... Uh, the, why am I saying this? I just want to, to connect to... Before I go there, there is science so that we study, we pass. You understand? And there is religion. So here, I'm not adding religion here. So please, if your religion is about this, sorry, ne? the same way, also mine. So now we are just talking about what is going to make us pass. You understand? Yes. So they say that ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny. That history repeats itself. That you started from water. Yes. You you evolved from water. That's why when you are a sperm, you far, you are fertilized by the ovum. Uh -uh, the sperm fertilizes the ovum. You form that sac. Yes. The amniotic fluid will come in. Yes. So when you are developing there, you are like in water. That's where you started from because your life started from it started from where from water and it started as a cell that's why when you're also developing you're developing in a sack full of water you have the gill slits also there there so you keep on developing so you started to crawl even when you are developing is also the same when you are walking, you did not walk immediately straight. No, that's why this one is also like that. You see? So it means that, that that's where we came from. You understand? And then until you develop fully up to where you are, and then you have this. Therefore, when you are growing again, you go back to where you came from. That's why someone who is 90 years old will behave like someone who is 7, 8 years Sorry. Yeah, because why is we have that trend? Anyway, let's go to pelvic girdle. This pelvic girdle is big and wider. Eh? It's, it's, it's short and wider so that it can support the what? The upper weight. What about this? This one is long and narrow. Long and narrow. So if it is long and narrow, what is happening? It cannot support the upper weight that uh, uh, easily. Yes, it can't. Is there any sum of advantage of bipedalism? Yes, the advantages are there. Free hands, they can move. You can walk freely, standing upright. Movement is easier. 
imagine when you are taking off running easier why you don't waste too much energy there then you have reduced your uh, exposure to sunlight then you have the body is raised from the ground and then you have the sex organs are uh, readily uh, displayed yeah when you're walking on two limbs eh? imagine you're walking on two limbs so that you can show your sex organs <laughs> oh my god yes sex organs are displayed so that you they can see it who i don't know yes anyway that's science that's not me that's science now question before we go to this because i want to talk about this and then now i go back to our skulls um can you do this in five minutes just five minutes do them for me write them down and then now we discuss and then we find out if you have got the correct answer yes yeah so now i'm giving you five minutes five mi i don't have a timer to time you but i'm gonna be timing with the time here the to show you that on the i don't have it but i'm gonna be showing you the timer i'm gonna be seeing it here meaning that 40 minutes you have to we're gonna be talking about and then now we come back to the skulls and then i show you how do we set the skulls how are you supposed to go to the paper when you know these skulls yes when you have a phone in a samsung you know that that's samsung yeah are you done i'm, I'm waiting i'm waiting for you to finish mm -hmm. that so that we 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 continue yes i'll be showing you even my other questions and then we see if we can uh, catch up with them yes if you have a challenge let me know if i'm to scroll down let me know that you have finished uh shall we okay yeah if you have a challenge let me know you done let me scroll down a bit and like this so that you see it clearly Yeah, someone is saying that proud done. Oh wow. Well. K file. Hey, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Hey, uh, before uh as you are continuing guys, uh I'm going to be 
bringing classes yeah bringing classes fridays saturdays fridays saturdays uh, bring classes to you so that at least at least guys you can get a distinction tell your friends friday saturdays friday saturdays saturday in the morning then fridays uh afternoon like this time eh? yes so that when you are you, you are home you have already uh uh uh, uh, um, uh you are home ne? oh someone saying that i joined later i didn't understand it uh, it's fine if you you you, you missed something still you will be able to get um the what what we have talked about you can replay it and then you are able to get what you have missed out unfortunately uh you, you you can't you can't ask questions uh, there why because i will be i will be offline yes i will be offline unless unless you are you are you, you are asking questions all right guys i think we are going to come back uh, let me check here on our technology so that now we go back we go back yes here mm -hmm. work is not that good so uh, let's go to the question the saying tabulate observable difference between scale one and the scale two guys uh, what 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 is scale one let me check something here oh, is chat for everyone let me check something here let me see if everyone can comment so that you tell me Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me, what is scale one? What do you think is scale one? Tell me, guys, what is scale one? What do you think is scale one? I want to know. Based on what you see, what do you think is scale one? Uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> Some people are scared to say to say these things. Why are you scared? All right, scale one looks to be a gorilla, isn't it? What about scale two? Guys, what do you think is scale two? Tell me, what do you think is, is scale 2? Scale 2 looks to be human. I think you got it right, ne? Yeah. Oh, uh, Teho. Share, eh? Teho. Yes, it's, it's telling me modern humans. Good. Scale 2 is modern humans. Yes, correct. Scale 2 is modern humans. Scale 1 is chimpanzee. Now let's look at it here. Yeah. Don't mind about the um, don't mind about the, um, the what? The network, man. The network, but yeah, I think you will get it.
<laughs> Look at the scar. Scar one looks to be this. Looks to be this. But they have made it like that. They have made it like that. They have made it to be like that. I hope you can see. And then it's called is this. They have made it to be like this. Uh, yeah. So they are saying that uh, skull one is this. While skull two is that. Ne? So they are looking at look at this and look at this. Uh guys I'm still uh, being disturbed by uh fish. It's fine. So it means that if you are saying tabulate the differences, if you are saying to tabulate the differences, then it means that uh you're gonna say that scale one what's happening with scale one scale one you'll find out that scale one has the bridge are pronounced you can see them that they are well pronounced the bridge they are well pronounced look at it here Well pronounced porridge here. This is well pronounced, you see. While skull two are the porridge pronounced? No. They're not that pronounced. Okay, check it here. It's not there. Look at the canine. Look at the canines here. They're not that big. Yeah, that's what I, I showed you here. Look at the shape, this shape. Rectangular. Uh, you can't see here rectangular unless it's upside down. But the chin, the chin is not that. The chin is not developed. Well, here, look at it. How sharp it is. The chin is developed. You see? Now, guys, when the skull is like this, the way I showed you there, please don't talk about Foraman Magnum. Where is it? Do you see it here? No, don't talk about it. Yes. Um... Rectangular sh um, uh, parrots, you, 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 you don't see it here. It's not upside down. If it was upside down, then you can talk about it. But because it's not upside down, we don't talk about it. You don't see it. Spaces between the teeth. Can you see them? Can you see the spaces here? That's them. No. You don't see them. Yeah. So... It means that uh, you don't talk about it. So here they're saying observable, what you can see. So I think you can talk about this. Yes, here. You can talk about the canine. You can see them clearly. Yes. Uh, you can talk about the flat, the sloping face here. You can see here. The face is what? It's flat. You see? So you, you, you see what you observe, not what you crammed from your teacher. No, 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 no. You talk about what you see what you observe yes for characteristics of upper you see that's what i talked about that don't just go to the paper and then you, you know when now you know that yeah i know everything no talk about here they are talking they are specific the upper limb upper hands i don't know whether they we have the lower hands the upper limb that's what you are supposed to talk about the upper limb. How about the upper limb? Then you talk about it. Ne? The upper limb, then you go back to this book is showing you very clearly. Hmm? Mm -mm. Yes, check. So, they're talking about only this. Yes. That's the upper limb they're talking about. So, your answers must be there. It must not go out of that direction. Yes. So, uh -huh. Then you have 
you have you have you have uh, um, another question they are saying that explain how increase in the cranial volume uh, is related to intelligence i explained it that as you have a bigger cranial capacity it means that the the, the intelligence is 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 high how high is because of the increase in the brain cells when the brain cells are high you have a higher intelligence look i talked about it and i explained it here i explained it here and i say that here i say that look you have the, the the cranium i explained this concept of cranium that the cranium is big when the cranium is big it means that the cranium not the skull the cranium is big it means that that box where the brain is stored is what called the cranium so when the cranium is big it means that you have more brain cells and then the intelligence is also high yes then this is what we say that cranium the part of the skull which encloses the brain which we call the brain box yes human have a larger brain or more brain cells uh, to the body size whenever you are talking about the brain cells you must relate it to the body size because if you don't compare it to the body size then you won't get it right yes it must be compared to the body size yes so compare the body size then that lead to higher intelligence the more brain cells you have the higher the intelligence you're gonna have so if when i were the best in class does it mean that you have more brain cells no you don't have more brain cells it's because you practice more so you guys if you want to have to be the best in class you have to practice more so that you make the brain have problems and then those problems the brain will find a, a, a solution for those problems and then you become more intelligent people who don't have problems they're not intelligent have you ever asked yourself why god give you problems so that you can think more take, take note of this when you are thinking when you have problems how fast your brain is thinking is thinking more that's why so when you're talking about the brain size the more intelligence you're talking about one species over another species but if you're talking about the same species they have the same size of the brain but how do you use your brain will make you more intelligent you understand yes so give your brain tasks to do so that um they can uh they can win that problem so you guys i'm going to stop here i think yes uh, on this question and then tomorrow tomorrow eight o'clock yes i'll come back and finish everything and then uh, so that at least you tell your friends eh? uh, tell your friends then if you have questions please prepare them i have some questions here i'd prepared for you also to do uh to do they are here uh, I, i'm only going to to pick out only for yeah these questions is also another question uh, only uh examinable questions i don't have time to waste for questions which are not examinable yeah that one is not that one Mm, where is this question that's another question yeah so i had prepared a, a lot of questions so tomorrow we're gonna just finish up and then now so now what I'm, I'm i'm giving you i'm giving you time to go back and then try to do a recap you understand try to do a recap read come back and then let me know tomorrow uh i think tomorrow uh, I'm going to connect even Zoom, Zoom, so that some of you have never seen me by face. <laughs> anyway, that's not a big deal, man. Eh? And I wanna see you so that you answer me questions, yeah, live. Sometimes you you are hiding, but I'm going to send you a link so that you join. Let me give you my number now so that you can zero eight four eight three three one seven three eight then i'll send you a link where you can uh join our group and then after that you will be able to i'll send the link for for the zoom there unfortunately it accommodates a specific number of people only 100 people meaning that first come first serve on the zoom however for for youtube it will be 100 percent it will be there whether you are 20 whether you are 100 whether you are 200 then automatically uh, you'll be able still to 
watch and ask questions if you are typing them. I think I'm going to stop here. M. Saidi has been taking you. Tomorrow we're going to come and we talk about these pieces. Pieces, pieces. Eh? Download the distinction material. Eh? Yes. These pieces, the paragenetic tree, uh, these, uh, these ones, how do you memorize them? Yeah, all of them. We're going to talk about them. Uh, what are you supposed to focus on when you are going to the paper? You need to know those things which you are supposed to focus on so that you can beat the examiner. Yeah, we want marks. We, don't, we are not here to play. We want marks and we will get the marks. We have to be at the university next year. See you when you see me again tomorrow. Tuzokubona kusasa.